Hey guys, ZBP Man here, and today we're going to talk about five mega tips that are going to transform the way you're using your Samsung Galaxy Note 9, S9, or S9 Plus. It's all about One UI and the update that just came out a couple days ago. You're going to want to watch this video. Let's get right to it. Now, Samsung this week released a major update uh, over a gig to all of its phones. So that was the Note 9, the S9, and the S9 Plus. And this is really bringing in the new One UI. Uh, so there are five major features that I find are transformational that are going to keep your phone working fast. It's going to make your phone battery last longer. And it's also some, we're going to bring in some really convenient features. So in this video, I'm going to show you those features. Make sure you watch the entire video because I may have one at the end that is going to be a, a special one for you. So the other thing is, if you have have a tip trick or something new that you really love about the new update let me know in the comment area below because I'd love to hear from you as well make sure you hit the subscribe button and tap the little bell icon to get notified when new videos become available so let's see the first feature that I really enjoy so if I swipe down you'll notice that this whole area is black when you look at your phone it's probably white let me show you how I change this because this is something called uh, the uh, night mode or dark mode, some people refer to it that way. We're gonna go into display, and then you'll notice how it says night mode. Let me turn that off, and now everything is bright white. Now the thing about this mode is that if you have this this way, everything that, you know, your chat, your for your text messaging, your phone, all those settings are going to be in the normal color. Uh, this is almost like a dark theme that applies to everything. So as soon as you turn this on, what ends up happening is the entire experience changes. So this is gonna be your phone dialer, this is gonna be your contacts, this is gonna be all your chats. Everything that is core, part of the UI, that is typically bright is gonna to go to this dark mode. I find it personally that it's easier to read. I also find that it extends your battery life and also that it's just faster as you're using your phone. So first tip, turn on the night mode. All right, so the next tip that I'm gonna give you that's going to speed up how you use your phone is to reduce the overall animation. So as you're opening up the phone, you're gonna see that there's some really cool animations that go whoosh, that open things up and they close things down. Well, that dramatic effect does take away from performance or perceived performance. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to the top here, we're gonna go back into settings, we're going to do, uh, I'm gonna type in reduce so that you can see this. You notice how you can find it really quick, so we're gonna do reduce animations. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn that on. You notice how I blinked right there? We're gonna go ahead and turn that on. Right now I have it on, but what will happen is as you turn that on, you'll notice that as you're switching from app to app, the, the transition, the, almost like the animations that take place, get completely eliminated and it gives you a feeling of snappiness and it makes it faster to go from application to application. So that was tip two. So now this next tip, again, number three, is gonna help you get access to your phone much faster as soon as you pick it up. So think about it, how many times you pick up the phone and you wanna do something with it, but you still have to power it on or you have to tap. So let me show you how you can turn on this feature. So we're gonna go back into settings. We're gonna come in and I'm gonna just find it really quick. So I'm gonna throw this aside, L-I-F-T, and we're using looking for the lift to wake feature. So as soon as I choose lift to wake, what the lift to wake feature that you see right there, if you turn it on, is gonna turn on the screen of your phone as soon as you pick it up. So that's something that's going to eliminate the need of you having to press the button to power it up. Uh, it'll just turn on automatically for you. So check out lift to wake. All right guys, so now we're getting to the really good ones. So this is a feature that existed, but there's a feature plus here. So we're gonna talk about how do you keep your phone, you know, just crispy and running fast. So there is an actual feature that allows you to reset your phone every week, um, every a specific day of the week, so that the phone is always fresh. So let me show you where that's at. So I'm gonna go into settings again, and we're gonna go into uh, device care. So now most of you know, know about this feature, and if you haven't looked at my tips and tricks, a lot of these tips and tricks still apply. This area is going to give you the ability to clear out your memory, clear out space. You know, if you have a misbehaving app, if all of a sudden you feel your phone getting warm or you find that the battery is draining really quick, you'll want to come in here to see what's causing it. So if you go up to this area here, you're going to see something that says auto restart. Now this is a feature that I use religiously, and this is something that I recommend to my family, to my friends. I, and if I see someone with a Samsung, 
Samsung phone, I immediately tell them, let's go ahead and check out and see if this feature exists. Now, one of the things I'll just I'll preface with this is that sometimes if you're on Sprint or Verizon, they remove certain features. So if you don't see these features, it's because your carrier removed it. Um, I'm looking at an AT&T phone right now and the features are there. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. So what you see here is you have the ability to restart your phone automatically right and it will restart again if you have the right battery level it, if your um, if your sim lock uh, is off and what will happen is it would just reboot the phone and that's going to keep it uh, crispy you'll notice right here that I have the uh, time is on Sundays at 3 in the morning because I'm not going to be using my phone I'm asleep and it's just a nice restart feature to start fresh it's like if you were rebooting your Mac or your PC now this is the fifth feature, and now this is my absolute favorite feature. So check this out. We're gonna go into the same area. We're gonna go into settings. We're then gonna go into device care, and we're gonna go into the exact same spot that we were earlier. We're gonna go ahead and click on the same uh, menu button, but notice how it says auto optimization. This feature is incredible. Uh, let me just show you why. Uh, when you come into your phone and, and things are not running like you'd like them to, uh, you basically come in and you hit optimize and it's going to go ahead and look at your apps it's going to look at uh, temporary storage and it's going to clear all these things you can see that what's happening right here so it does that and notice that it freed up 40 uh, you know 40.5 GB right so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and notice how it says that it's right now excellent that means that my my phone is ready to go and that it's going to be performing at its best capacity. Well, what I could also do is if I go here and I go auto optimization, I can have this function take place every single day. A matter of fact, I do. So I have the auto optimization happening every 3 a.m. So that means that when I pick up my phone at five or six o'clock in the morning because I get up pretty early, my phone will have been refreshed. So, you know, if we go back to the screen right here where you see where it says 100% excellent, that's how my phone is gonna be. You'll never pick up your phone and it's gonna be lagging or slow. It's gonna be always crispy and fast. That's tip number five. So now guys, let's talk about a bonus tip. Uh, and this bonus tip kind of goes into a little vanity. And so, or maybe not. If you love taking selfies or love taking uh, photos, and if you follow us on Instagram, you'll see we are always taking pictures and posting us there, uh, things there, and also on, uh, on Twitter. You can actually have the phone remember the last camera mode you're in. So if you're a live focus, which I am, or you're somebody who is in a selfie mode taker, and you wanna go back in and get the same mode that you're in without having to change it, this is the tip for you. So we're gonna go into the camera area, Right, And once we go into camera area, we're gonna go into the settings. And once you're in settings, we're gonna go down and we're gonna look for the area that is called camera modes. And you can see that right here. I'm gonna choose my camera mode. And notice what it says here, keep using last mode. If you turn that on, what will happen is the next time you do a selfie and you exit out of the camera mode or the camera itself, when you come back, your, your camera is gonna be in selfie mode. If you do the uh, live focus, it's gonna be in live focus mode. If you're doing panoramic shots, it will go back to panoramic, saving that one extra step. That's the bonus tip, tip six. So guys, that concludes our top five things that I recommend you do immediately as soon as you've gotten this update. Let me know if there is, again, a tip or trick that you'd like to share with everyone on the channel. Do that in the comment area. And as always, don't forget to share and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.